you. What up? All right. Um, so uh, we got part four of Carl versus Steve. All the insults. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, this is a uh, truly a treat, man. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is. I'm starting to feel sorry for uh, for Steve though. <laughs> <laughs> feeling a little bit yeah. sorry for Steve. He done you again. <laughs> yeah. Even though I think. Um, <laughs> They've said in the comments that he's he's found love. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Makes yeah, me feel man. a little bit better knowing that Steve's found love out there. Yeah, man. But these are all just jokes. these are all just jokes, man. You know, hopefully he doesn't. You know. But hopefully. you can tell you take he, he <laughs> <laughs> Steve's <laughs> Steve's uh, you know uh, Steve's you know. Hey, that's it. That's how Steve jokes. You know, some people not everybody jokes the same. You know, that's the thing. But the hurting Steve more. It's hurting Steve more. You can oh, tell. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right, man. You ready? Yes, sir. It, do you know what I mean? It's brilliant. I'd like to rent you out to people. See me, I'm different. <laughs> I would happily leave him now in the bottom of the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> Until quiz With the night. the electrics. <laughs> <laughs> Until the old pub quiz night, <clears throat> when there's no one else who will have you on the team. Sure. Oh, and suddenly you are your best mate. Done him again! <laughs> huh? My, yeah, where's his mum and dad then, Carl? Mm. Yeah? In <laughs> Bristol. Yeah. 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 Me and Steve were having a little meeting yesterday over lunch about, you know, planning stuff for the show. And, uh, Gary Kemp came up to me, started having a little chat about old times, and, uh, I went, oh, yeah. As he went away, Steve said, right, think of this. He said, Rick, don't take this the wrong way. Remember that sentence, don't take this the wrong way. So there's a right way and a wrong way I could have taken this comment. He went, nodded to sort of Gary Kemp and went, he's aged better than you. <laughs> I went, well, how could I take that the wrong way? Yeah. It's uh, not offensive. No. Well, the, the point is this. He, Damn. he does, because he didn't know me 20 years ago, so he's actually saying, Rick, don't take this the wrong way, he looks better than you do. Yeah, well he does. <laughs> but why say that, Carl? Oh, so what? Did you really say that? Yeah, although, can I just get, just backtracking for a second, I love the fact you said you bumped into Gary Kemp and you reminisced about old times. What old times did you share with Gary Kemp? Well, no, he Kemp? came up and said, did we drop the pops together? I went, no, I did razzmatazz. I said, oh, we did razzmatazz. I think he was thinking, had he ever met me before? But he, he, he hadn't, because we hadn't, that's what I meant. Yeah. 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 And, uh... But if you had to make an objective analysis... I, you know, I wouldn't. I think that's out of order. Sure. <laughs> sure. I mean, you're always slagging me off, but apparently no, you, you no, can't no, do, well, make a value judgment on something else. No. On, on oh, well, because you're, you know, you're morally all over the place. You don't know, you know, you don't know where you're coming or going. Yeah. Leave it. Sure. You should do what I say about you, Gandhi. Man. So, are you? Would you say you're better looking now than you were, or <laughs> than I'm what? W would you say you're better looking now than you were than I was when? Well, like, like, you know, have you aged well? Yes. <laughs> You've aged well. Yeah, I've kept my looks. Bit of dando. A bit of Evan Dana, this is Evan, yes. Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm not going at the moment, I'm not going, and I'm desperate to see the man. I mean, he's, you know, he's going to do a great concert, it's mm. his only one in, in London. I can't believe that being on the radio, being on XFM, you know, the, the listenership's going up apparently, mm. I can't believe I can't get a ticket. I, I've asked Carl, he's done nothing, he's done nothing. No, 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 Carl, 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 tell what you said when he was whinging in no, the but first of all, while she's moaning, you also asked in the week for a Badly Drawn Boy album. Yeah. You got in today, Yeah. there's one there for you. Well, yeah, yeah. but it's yin and yang, And it's Carl. like, yeah, but I do you know. Carl, what's Steve ever done for you? That's what you got to ask yourself. What has Steve ever done for you? Well, he took me to the BAFTAs. Yeah, but only because no one else would probably want to go with you. <gasps> I can't believe that. What is I this? I do not believe that. Oh, Steve, I'm going to stitch you up now, Carl. And it's in a nice way, and don't worry, it won't be too bad. He won't take too bad. Carl sent me a little text message today. Right. Um, no, no, no. Oh, what is this? Um, I would, right, okay. Okay. You know, I'm in a very frail mood at the moment. No, no, I'm you're like this, right. This is funny, because me, uh, me and him have been, like, sending, uh, trivia back and forth to each other. Which is another point, right? I sent him, oh, well, I'll get to that in a minute. I, I thought he'd really be amazed with, um... Right, well, while you're fiddling, if you can make my dream come true, uh, to go and see Bruce Springsteen tomorrow, then give us a call on the usual yeah, number. Bruce but like Springsteen. I said, Steve, <laughs> what? Right? It's, it's, wouldn't be, right, you just said when the song was on, can't believe it, right, we work at XFM, 
and I can't get tickets for Springsteen, right? Yeah. Mm. We work in radio, we should get tickets. Mm. Right, now think Which of Which I'm willing to pay for. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. think of the- yeah, but if it's sold out, it's sold out. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but that's just something they say. Right, that's just what they say, is it? Right, so everybody on local radio stations say, do you know, I like that Bruce Springsteen, I, I want a free ticket, right? So another say- uh, I tried to phone, I phoned for an hour and a half, I couldn't get through. Not long enough. I put the hours in. Not long enough. Not long enough. What are you talking about? Put the hours in. Right? So another 400 people turn up at the gig, they cram them all in, there's people being crushed, you know, they've paid the money early, they were up early that day when, they, when the phone lines were open, whilst you were probably sleeping and that. So they're dedicated and they're the ones at the front getting crushed. What? Would you Why mind that be crushed? happy if you were there getting crushed? I don't mind, I'll sit at the side of the stage and watch him. Yeah, but I the, don't mind. But everyone will say that then. And then what? before you know it, yeah. no one can see anything because no, you're Carl's all on the right side. On this one. Right, 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 I'll, right, I'll, right, I'll give you this here. I'm, yeah. I'm handing over my mobile phone, Steve, to read the. You can see it's from Carl at the top, but just read it out as you scroll down. Just read it out loud. Is this a text message from. Yeah, this is a text message to me from Carl. Read it out. To see at night as well as an owl, you would need eyes the size of grapefruits. If only Stephen could turn his head right round as well. <laughs> Carl, I can't believe it. <laughs> What, what upsets me most, Carl, right, is not the fact that you've been slagging me off behind my back. It's the fact that you've got the cheek to come on here and moralise because you've failed to get me tickets and make a dream come true. You've come on here trying to pass the buck and say that it's a health and safety problem, when mm. in actual fact it's a Carl Pilkington nice. problem. Look at that, do that, I've got it in a I bit. can't, I'm devastated, I'm devastated. You I know, I didn't, and then, I didn't felt ripped by a record. I just, I'm upset. I should have eaten this banana. Off What's the number? It's uh, 08700 800 1234. Oh, but if it's sold out, Steve, it's sold out. Get a bit of a classic here. Eh? REM. I bet if Ricky wanted to go, it'd be fine. I'm sure someone could sort it out then. Who? Oh, if Ricky Gervais wants to go, then I'm you can going. come. Are you? <laughs> no. Ricky got a ticket. <laughs> well, there's the best band in Britain, in my opinion. Big words. The darkness growing on me. On XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Have you got the album? And already, they've had an argument. Yes. Well, I, I mean, I don't know whether we need to cheapen the show by discussing it, but I yeah. asked for a particular track. Uh, Carl is the producer, and he failed to get it for me. He's failed to get it for me. He's failed to bring it up from the record library. Completely failed in his mission. He needed to get two records, and he failed to get one of them. A 50% error rate there. Yeah, but like I said... I looked in the system, it told me what album it's on, I brought that album up. I'm busy. <laughs> but, okay, so fine, fine, you're absolutely fine then, that's no problem. You know, it, once again, it, that's, a, that's a great excuse, Carl, brilliant. The show has been ruined, it's been partially ruined, but you've got a bit of an excuse. Alright, I didn't make a big deal out of it when mm. you said, oh, and whilst you're down there, Get us a new 50 cent single. I never, I never said, why don't I get this new 50 cent single? I asked you if 50 cent single was lying around. If, yeah. it, if it hadn't been here, I wouldn't have worried. So I get it, yeah, I did that for you. Right. And then I come up, you say, has it got swearing in it? <laughs> well, right. I don't know, it's five to one still. You're the producer! I've been yeah, the around. producer is the brand new single. I thought it had been lying around in the XFM office anyway. But I don't, I don't have time to sit around listening to music. Sure, well, yeah. Right? I know that you have, now you've got an iPod that can hold 7,500 songs, I don't know when you're gonna get round to loading all them on, <laughs> but I haven't got the time. Sure. Busy, busy. Yeah. Fine, right. okay, no, no, that's, that's a perfect excuse, Carl. Well done, mate. I just hope that I never have to depend on you in a real emergency. <laughs> Yeah. So, we were talking about press. We play is that link too long already I'm before already we bored. actually got to something? I'm already bored. Carl, we've got to get to something. We've got to do Carl, something. why don't you contribute something? You've been silent. Now, that is scraping about. <laughs> really like, is, we're it? in trouble. Oh, no. Oh, we're failing. Who can we, uh, who can we bring on that Surefire always delivers audio dynamite? Yeah. Carl! The big guns. <laughs> Come on, Carl. Carl. I was just thinking, there is nobody else who looks like Steve. <laughs> He's done your outrageous! <laughs> Although, to be honest with you, that insult has resurrected things. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Uh, I was on my mobile phone, uh, and I was chatting away to someone, and, uh, what can only be described as a prostitute. Go on. Stood on the street corner. Was she a woman that gives you sex for money? Yes. That is a prostitute. <laughs> yes, that's what I thought. Go on. And as I was walking by, she said, Do you want to buy sex? <laughs> no, you sure it wasn't a market trader giving six plums or No, it was definitely. Six for a quid? No, it was definitely a prostitute. Yeah. Uh, and what annoyed me about it, six. what I wanted to pick her up on something, was the fact that I was on my mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so can you imagine, who, who would I, I, what, am I gonna hang up? Sorry mum, can I call you back? Uh, you, you know, you know you say you want me to meet more women. And you know you sent me that 
30 quid <laughs> exactly. for my birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Johnson, I'm really excited about the job. Can I call you back? I'm just going to negotiate with a whore. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was like, it was just sort of, you could tell that she was clearly probably desperate for crack or a latest yeah. fix of smack. So she was literally, she, the normal etiquette of prostitution, you know, that they hang around, they show some thigh. <laughs> I've seen this in films. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take you out for a meal, that I sort know. of thing. That, that had sort of gone it. out of the window and yeah, she was just sure. there, desperate, running around Did she the go out of the window? Like because gone. that's <laughs> another thing they sometimes do, specialist exactly. ones. But I was yeah. shocked because I've never been, uh, propositioned before like that. Really? In London. That's <laughs> weird, isn't it? Carl, thoughts? I. I think you'd be sort of approached a lot because they tend to <laughs> sort of go for people who look like they haven't got much chance. Sure. <laughs> and I'm not being mean. No, 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 no. Sorry, I'll let you go out here. In what way aren't you being mean? By saying that <laughs> no, Steve- Steve knows is a little bit odd looking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think- Well- <laughs> No, he does. Do you know, do you know- yeah, before, no, no, but it's uh, not whether what he thinks of his looks, uh, it's what he thinks of you talking about his looks on- No, but it's- it's on. like how you were talking before about, you know, your eyes are bad. <laughs> it's nature's little way of saying, look, nothing to see here, right? <laughs> don't get that! I don't know what you mean! What when you look in the mirror and that, they've gone, look, he hasn't got the looks, let's make his eyes bad, right? Yeah. Nothing to see here. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm saying, see you're balancing it out, right? Yeah. And it's funny, right? Now we're on the topic- Sorry, sorry, right, Johnny Depp. Hey, hey, listen, <laughs> but- <laughs> My- my chest is gonna burst at this but moment. All, whenever we go on this conversation, I always think to myself, Carl, do you know what you look like? <laughs> <laughs> I- I'm gonna burst. <laughs> you know, seriously, can I be honest with you? You look like- you know if you've got like a balloon, a hot air balloon, right? Just a little balloon, like a party balloon. If you drew a little face on it, right, and inflated it about halfway, that's what you look like. <laughs> Right, I so, won't- No, play a record, no, I don't want to get into this, Listen, it's too now, intense. Now, now you've- you've got onto this, let's just nip it in the bud now. I'll tell you something that I wasn't gonna tell you because I think- I don't want to hear it, I don't want to well, hear it. Right, it was on the tube, right? Well, I was- someone told me they were on the tube, mm. right? And, um, it, uh, the, the tube pulled into a station, <laughs> right? And one of the women <laughs> saw the poster that's yeah. out at the moment with you and Rick on it, right? Yeah. So this- this woman apparently goes, uh, oh look, there's, uh, it's Ricky. Ricky's on the radio, right? And uh, the other woman goes, "Oh yeah, d d don't you listen to it?" So she goes, "Oh, I didn't, I didn't know it was on the radio." And she goes, "Oh." She said, "Oh, look at that, look at that person he's with." So she goes, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." She said, "That's Steve." She said, "I'm kind of, I was." I sort of aware that he looked odd because Carl mentions it on the radio. Yeah. So so it wasn't as much of a blow to me, but I can see how it was a bit of a shock to you. Yeah. So uh, that's 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 weird, isn't it? Uh, yeah. And that isn't me sort of telling this woman to say anything. That was all happened without anybody else sort of bringing it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So was it? Sorry, you seem to be relishing this. Was it because of the little balloon story that made you? I, I honestly, Steve, I want to told you, but if you're going to start, you know, having a pop, yeah, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Uh, I, I can't just sit here and <laughs> take sure. it and that. No, no. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, mate, Steve. Yeah, just, uh, <laughs> yeah. Steve. I mean, I was just mistaken for Johnny yeah. Vegas. Uh, Steve's got a story about that. If you want to have a go at me, well, you know, someone just thought you were fat with a beard, which is true. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't have a go at me because he said you look. Well, you started it. No, I didn't. Yeah, no, was, I didn't. You were milking it. You were I egging was, him on. I was laughing. You were egging him on. <laughs> yeah, I sort of was. Yeah. But let's not, you know. Ooh, it's a good job you've got lots of good mates like Jonathan Ross you can go and hang out with. <laughs> could need other friends, people who've helped you in your career. <laughs> because our, our actors are often like, quite handsome people. But yet they're always quite yeah, we obnoxious. Yeah, we are, we are, we are, we are. No, I mean, they're normally quite obnoxious, really. Again, you know, you're a good example of that. <laughs> and yet, yet, I think it must be the small man complex. That's what makes them so obnoxious and so kind of desperate for attention. Didn't right. realise it before. Steady on. Because of course I tower above everyone. You do, don't you? I'm, uh, for people who don't know who are listening, I'm six foot seven inches tall. That's, 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 that's high. <laughs> yeah. That's and, big. and, and, um, for people who have never seen him, he doesn't hold it well. It's not like he's a sort of <laughs> handsome athlete, is it, Carl? He's a bit of a- what, what do you call him? Carl, don't answer. No, 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 no. Don't get drawn into that. No, no, you know, no. Girl, you know the game he's playing. No, 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 no. <laughs> do you know yesterday when you were in the office? Yeah. You did a little move and it reminded me of Blakey. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, I hate you, Gervais. Oh, I hate you, Pilkington. That's his stance. Yeah, but even he was, he held it a little bit better, didn't he? Because he was a man, you know, he had a big coat and everything, the peak cap. But, uh, yeah. I can't believe you. Like, I've not suffered enough. From being freakishly tall. Now, two of my best buddies <laughs> yeah. live on radio. Are just it's not just the height, though, is it? It's the posture and the face and everything. He's got the place, hasn't he? No. What do you mean he's got the place? I think, uh, I think people give you a bit more of a chance in, in your career and stuff. It's like... What? Yeah, stacking shelves. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can reach to a high level. <laughs> the face. <laughs> Damn. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, she, uh, probably, she probably just isn't secure because the little statue because there's a tower above. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Steve, Steve set, him up, set herself up for that, though. Oh, yeah. like, if people, people that aren't aware, I'm six foot seven. <laughs> like, yeah. Go ahead, and then tell me that you're not enough for you <laughs> That was Ricky. Ah, yeah, Ricky was <laughs> that wasn't again. Carl. But <laughs> no. well, Carl said he looked like uh, somebody called Blakey. I don't know who Blakey yeah. is. <laughs> I don't know who Blakey is. But I'm guessing it wasn't. It <laughs> oh, <laughs> looks weird. Man, yeah. Yeah, you can tell Steve yeah. is uh, uncomfortable or he's been <laughs> got when he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> He said, "Yeah, <laughs> they can tell they got him." It seems like it, 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 it seems like when they when they set that up and like when this all started, like Steve, because you know, like re- re- really, it started off with Carl getting teased by them both. Yeah, and I don't think Steve was prepared nor was ready for the to. It switched. Yeah, yeah, they switched. And it. some people just don't have it that way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The comebacks, <laughs> the quick comebacks, and just being able to to understand. <laughs> How it feels. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it started out Ricky and Steve <laughs> versus Carl. Now it's <laughs> Carl and Ricky versus Steve. <laughs> oh, uh, man, the poster. I love it. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> Carl said he was on the uh, tube. I'm guessing that's like the train or something. <laughs> no, he said somebody else was on the tube and they saw a poster. <laughs> and it was like, oh, <laughs> who's that person he's with? <laughs> Ah, oh, that would hurt my feelings. <laughs> that would hurt my feelings. Oh man. Oh, if that's I was Steve, do, that's that's what that's. Hey, look, but that's what Steve tried to do to Carl right there. With Carl, the balloon yeah. joke. The balloon joke. But it fell, just, though. yeah, the, the balloon yeah, joke didn't hit. It. That's not. That's, you better go a little harder than that. Especially when you're already cutting, you know, at your at your facial features and shit. You know what I'm saying? If you're going at <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Carl's you like, go things you cannot change. Yeah. He's like, I wasn't going to bring this up, but since you're going to have a pop. <laughs> uh, yeah, Steve got Steve is getting uh, demolished. 